the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's go. Let's crack into another one. So yesterday, TNT Yo. was trying to tell me how to live forever. I did. And we ran out of time. So here we, we are, did. part two, how to live forever. So quick recap. We were talking about Brian Johnson. We are talking about uh, he's a venture capitalist millionaire who has adopted, he essentially has adopted, adopted this algorithm to increase longevity. Yeah, in you got to eat a certain time, do things at a certain time, you yes. know. All so that. he has adopted all the rules and regulations. He's gone. He's under. I guess I didn't really express this uh, in the in the last in the last episode as well. But he has gone under all the medical training, or medical. I should say, uh, what do you call that? Supervision. I guess. Okay. To emphasize longevity and health. Okay. So posture, um, eating. Uh, uh, like certain types of media that he consumes, um, meditation, everything. Like uh, he even he even went as far as when like the the thing he said is that his the whole thing where it blew up about the penis of an eighteen year old is that that is relatable, but the amount of medical just ingenuity that went into like the testing phase through what medications can make you have more erections during throughout the night which which can actually give you more erectile function okay he went through all of this <clears throat> all right and he is essentially saying is that in 2000 years a lot of this is going to be commonplace um wanting to not die is one of the most important things that humans have so through genetic engineering if we can make food tastes better that is healthy for us it won't be as big of a problem right if we can already have some of the uh, if, if we they can, make zero calorie chicken wings yeah. i'm living forever exactly. i'm gonna be fit as <clears throat> um have you heard of like the what is it the full of full of statin cows the full of the full nope, of statin cows i have not these are like the cows and they even have like the full of statin dogs where they're like huge, like just muscles upon muscles okay. upon muscles. Super like if you've the ever Terry seen Terry Crews of cows. If you've ever seen Yeah, if you've ever seen one of those bulls where you're like, that thing would just like destroy you if you ever got locked in. Those are full of statin cows. He did a treatment of that as well. Okay. There's no even there's no proof scientifically that even works on humans, but he yep. essentially is trying to come up with the algorithm that could prolong How life. How old is he now? Uh, he is 136. His, he's, <laughs> no, he's in his mid 40s, but when he goes through certain parts of his body, he's like, "Yes, my pituitary gland is the age of an 18 year old. My penis is the age of this. My lung and cardiovascular system, I'm charting out of higher than most 18 year olds, and I'm 40 something." So it's not to say is that these things He's are cleaning possible. himself of toxins. Essentially, all of these things we all know, but none of the research has really been done. Well, I mean, people the, say all point. the time you eat organic, you eat like you eat vegetables, yeah. you eat yeah. like stuff like that. You're going to your body's just going to feel better. You're going to eat better. I mean, even you said like when you were eating vegan, like you just felt better. Yeah. Because you were eating more natural foods. I, and I feel better now. I still eat pretty healthily. Uh, and I, I do. I feel better than I than I did when I did not. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it may. I mean, it's it's very. I mean, even people who don't have a gluten allergy, they say when you don't eat gluten, mm -hmm. pe people even without a gluten allergy feel better mm -hmm. because the, of what it does, like cow milk, all that stuff. It like it does stuff to your body that. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't realize. So he feels like this this uh, research is a zero th a zero th uh, theory. Okay, he feels like the idea of a person wanting to do every, like do all the research on their body to see how you can prolong life in every aspect of your being is a zero. Th okay, and, and from then, the last episode, you're talking they're like life world changing things like fire and yes. the wheel and the cotton gin and yes. you know the internet and things like that. To a yeah, to okay. a certain extent, yeah, uh, definitely the internet. Yeah, so yeah, so the zero th abilities and he and when I spoke about two thousand years in the future, I'm speaking about if we know how to live for an extra hundred years. Yeah, yeah. In two thousand years, I feel like a lot of this stuff may be adopted. No, no, I got you. Uh, might be adopted. Okay, so when we get down to it, uh, what is a generator of zeros? What can generate ideas? 
that are going to change humanity for forever. The human brain. We can't do it. These come along every once in a lifetime. Yeah, but, I mean, people are generating ideas all day. Like, sometimes they fail, sometimes they go. Exactly. But what can do it reliably? AI. Jonas, you're a genius. I don't believe that. That's the truth. AI is a zero producer. You could tell AI, make me a sport. And the AI is going to create a sport through the idea of these are the moments in other sports that create the most dopamine for humans. I'm going to create a sport that's going to be dopamine inducing. Okay. Write me a book that does this. Now, I granted, granted right now where AI is, it's not perfect. Obviously, it's getting better. You know this. We oh, yeah. all know this, at least with like videos and stuff. When an AI movie drops, people are going to start. People gripe about it until they adopt it. It's taking away the artistic creativity of humans, though. Better is better. I don't. I mean, it might get better eventually, but. Humans have been making this stuff for years, man. I feel like we've. I wouldn't say we've necessarily reached the peak, but we, we in fact, I would been, say we didn't reach the peak. Movies have been shit for a long time. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I mean, I'm ready to see what an AI can produce. I wouldn't say it's that we've reached the peak, but I would say was, we've reached a point where we can have a computer do it for us. We wrote on paper, um, on papyrus, crunching numbers until we came up with the calculator. We watched television until we came up with the internet. We spoke to each other yeah. on a cell phone until we came up with Twitter. So what's to say is that we won't watch movies created by humans until we need to watch them created by machines. You ain't wrong. So, and, and, and it just speaks to the point of the fact that, that AI creates these zeros. This man is actually using these AI or he's using AI ideals to come up with this algorithm to live forever. I, don't I trust, just thought it was I don't a trust AI. You don't try. Of course not. Because. You're old. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, you really shouldn't trust your own brain. When I was talking about your brain uh, wanting to literally kill you sometimes, um, I've dealt with depression in the, in the future. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Or in the, in the future, in the past. And I've definitely had thoughts in my own head, hey, you should kill yourself, you know? And obviously, I haven't done that, and thank God I haven't. But it comes to a point where you have to say, my brain does not have my best interest in mind. Yo, know, your your brain is separate from you. Yes. Cuz like and that's what I've that they've always kind of said in things is like your thoughts are separate from you. So yes. like the the part of you that wants to eat baconators every morning is or, different or from wants to drive from, off a bridge. from who you are. Your intrusive thoughts are not who you are as a person. But a lot of people are out here living with the idea of that their brain is who they are. That's their person. My personality is who I am. I right, right, it right. has to be me. So what could we do? Obviously, if our brain is not in charge of our bodies, we have to be in charge of ourselves. Why not give it up yeah. to it? Well, I mean, for example, you, like, you want to start eating healthier, right? And you know you're doing that. And you, maybe you do really good all week. You're eating, you're eating some salad. You're eating less, more natural stuff. And then on the weekend, you're just like, I want pizza. And you know that you shouldn't eat it. You're trying to eat healthy. But your brain's like, I want pizza. Yeah. So, so what do you do? You yeah. order a goddamn pizza, yeah. and then you feel like shit about it because like, you listen to your brain when you're like, I could have just ate a salad. I had salad in the fridge. But I ordered a pizza. But yeah. we don't know how to. We don't even know how to talk to our bodies. We don't know how to talk to our, our bodies. Won't talk to us. Our brain talks to us all day, telling us what we want, what's going to make yeah. us feel good. Smoke the marijuana. Smoke the cigarettes. Drink the alcohol. Do the cocaine. But that is not what's best for us. So if we were to able to come up with a program, an algorithm, a device, a computer that could tell us how to live, that it took like biometrics. Life. It sounds awful to sounds you. Sounds like an awful life. All right. I mean, some of us don't want to live forever. If if I have to, like, follow a regiment to a T to live forever, I'd rather just do my own thing and see you later. You say that, but I don't know if you realize that if you were to look at yourself, like I said, in the future, and you were to look at mankind, and you were like, these people, they eat the worst food. They do the worst things. They constantly harm themselves. Like, if you were to look at somebody in the 1940s, you would be like, why are you smoking cigarettes? Why are you 
hitting your wife, beating your children. I don't know. There's so many things that we have overcome as as a culture, as humans. We've moved on from so many things. I just can't see us just wanting to kill ourselves forever. But then again, you know what? Who's gonna feed the the uh, the lizard creatures? I sure, exactly. I guess is that where is that, gotta is that get, it, get, it all wrapped up with who's gonna feed the lizard creatures? The, That's where this was going. The lizard creatures have to get their loose from somewhere. So all of this was for the lizard creature. It was not because of the lizard creature. Oh, okay. No. AI was the answer. AI is kind okay. of the answer. The, okay. the idea is that AI is being used to make us so that we can live forever. Hey, do it. You want Neuralink? I'm 100% game for that. Yeah, I want Neuralink. I think that that is a zeroth ability or a zeroth if, if it ends up doing what they think it can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole nother thing there. Everybody gets AI put into their brain. Everybody puts AI into your car. All of Cyborg. a sudden, the government has control over everybody. Hey, that's the what perfect, they... the perfect planet. Per yeah, hive yeah. mind. You ever read 1984? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com, subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.